Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Aries EDC. We are continuing with the September builds. I have the rock copper and the bud and I'm doing the fronts, getting those nice and smoothed out and getting them prepped so that we can get the handles done. Because on this video, I'm gonna try to get all the handles done on all of these, but uh, we'll see how that goes. And if you haven't seen where this all started, you gotta go back, subscribe, and check out these videos from the very beginning or where we are now. It's not gonna really make much sense, but let's get it done. All right, guys, so we are now cleaned up. What do you think of that? It's kind of interesting. I like how this has that kind of wire in there. It's gonna give it an interesting look. I didn't know it had that, but... Um, it's going to give it an interesting look. So now I have that one somewhat polished and the pearl blue Kiranite somewhat polished. So the fronts are done. So now we are ready to glue up the handles. So I'm going to clean these up and get them glued up. I also have the scales for the Torcedo over here that are ready to be glued up to make the scales. Um, I'm doing a separate video on building the scales because I actually have to, this is like, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 pieces per side. So there's 10 pieces, individual pieces that I have to glue together over here and 10 individual pieces that I need to glue together over here just to make the scale. So that once I have the scale and it's all cut down and shaped, then I could do start shaping it and drilling the holes and everything else but uh it's gonna look pretty freaking cool so it's gonna be like i think we're looking at it's gonna be just right around in there on both sides and it's gonna look pretty cool We've got that inlay going and then we're gonna have brass tubes or pins and hardware so that's gonna look pretty cool but i have to build these scales and that's a very intricate thing that's why I'm doing a whole separate video on that and then hopefully we'll tie all of this together but I think it's time to uh, mix up some glue yes well, all right guys got them all glued up so now I just gotta wait until they dry and then maybe tomorrow we'll be shaping handles and looking good and, and also the torcedo handles scales are all glued up too. So this is nerve wracking right here. <laughs> these are nerve wracking. So hopefully these dry the way I hope and they don't glue to the table. <clears throat> but I guess I'll deal with that when I deal with it. So very cool. All right, guys, it, it's great. All right, <laughs> I am so tired right now. Um, so I decided to come back out check on these before I call it a day and these glued up really well the bud looks good rock copper looks good I have some glue I just need to clean up some excess glue over in that area so I'm gonna clean that up a little bit more but most of it gets cleaned up after I start grinding all this away. So uh, the Raffir should be interesting. Uh, we'll see what this material looks like, but just based off of the fronts, it's going to look pretty cool. So we're going to see. I don't know. It's a new material. I'm going to just start sanding it down and we're gonna see what this ends up looking like i have no idea i have no idea i think what you're seeing is the wire mesh right in here so i don't know we're gonna see what that looks like though i have no idea and then the pearl blue kieranite's gonna have that movement going straight down the middle of it on both both sides so it's gonna have some cool movement in the scales and uh, although i i really wish i i should have showed you guys me trying to, i glued it to the mat why is that there uh, i keep doing that guys i am i am horrible uh, 
it it kind of got stuck to the tape a little bit. I kind of glued it to the tape. It glued to the tape and it glued to my mat a little bit. Uh, that wasn't easy to get off, but I got it off. And now what I have to do is get these all cleaned up. Um, I want to get some of this tape off. Uh, and then I'm gonna take it to the grinder and I'm gonna start trimming up all of this, obviously the liners, and we're gonna level everything out to the same level. You can see the inlay is a little bit shallower than the scales, so I need to thin all of that out. Uh, and yeah, but we are looking pretty darn good. And once I get the scales nice and flattened out and everything on this, then I can get the Torcedo in the same spot as these guys. Why is that here? That needs to get thrown away. But, <clears throat> all right. All right. Well, I'm getting the work done, guys. I'm getting the work done. But this one is going to look gonna look pretty cool I'm thinking it's gonna be like yeah you can see yeah so right there so this much of this material is gonna get cut off and I can use that for something else down the road but I'm thinking well I need to put the pin just beyond that inlay so it's gonna end up being like right in there I think that's a good spot so I'm gonna get this nice burl in there and it's gonna come down to here and you're gonna have the inlay right at basically that hole I think I think that'll look cool what do you guys think so now I gotta line basically I have to flatten everything so I can line it all up and do that so Looking good, looking good. So tomorrow, I probably will just work on these guys and get these in a really good spot and maybe do just some fit up with this. Or I work on these first. Maybe I'll do that. I'll work on these first just to get them nice and flat and even all around so I can get the torcedo, the holes drilled in this and get it all lined up ready for uh, glue up. And then, and then if I can get all of these into the same spot, that would make me really happy. That would make me really, really happy. But yeah, we're looking good gonna look good it looks like a mess right now i know it does but i'm gonna clean it up it's gonna look really really cool so i'm done i'm done i'm really happy with this i need to throw all this away this is driving me crazy but awesome guys Woohoo! progress on these they are very roughly shaped put on a diet and now the rest of it I can do by hand but 
Ugh. I'm starting to see what that's going to feel like. It's going to be pretty good. Same with rock hopper. You're starting to see kind of what that's going to look like. Uh, I need to work on that a little bit more, that angle, but I can do that by hand. Luckily, this handle material is pretty soft, so just doing hand sanding is going to smooth all that out really well and uh, get it going. Also, um, let's see, yeah, a little zoom out. I got the scales done for the Torcedo. So you have the poplar, there's a little thin layer of black, then there's the white, and then there's another little thin layer of black. I think it's so small, but it gives it that just a little bit of pop. And uh, these are gonna look really, really cool. So I got these cleaned up. I'm gonna clean them up a little bit more just by hand and uh, get the bottoms cleaned up a little bit, get some of this off, and then we can start drilling holes and starting to shape up these like it did for these two. Um, so this one will be probably in a future video along with the hand sanding of these two. So I'm gonna end this one here and uh, we'll pick it up on the next one or possibly the next live stream and uh we'll uh, get these guys going it's gonna be pretty cool Look. all right guys um <clears throat> so i have these marked out so i'm gonna start I, what my plan is for this right now is i'm gonna get the torcedo scales uh, I'm going to try my best to get as much done with these as possible to the point these are ready to be glued up. Um, I'm hoping to get that today. I have the live stream today. My schedule's all thrown off, but the live stream will be today. And during that live stream, I'm going to get as much done with these as possible. Um, I'm going to start working before the live stream starts, which is in about 30 minutes. But I'm going to get as much done as possible. And then I have the bud and the rock hopper all uh, all going. I've already started that rock hopper. Um, I've already smoothed that out a little bit. So I uh, just got to get all of this done. But I want to get these to the point where they're almost ready to be glued up at least today. Maybe by the end of the day, I can glue up the Torcedo, which would be amazing. And then I can turn all my attention into these. This won't, these won't take long to get shaped up. Uh, this material is pretty soft, so I can move that material fairly well with the rock hopper too. It's been interesting with this. It's looking interesting. And you can, I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but it's actually translucent. You can see through it. So you can kind of see the light through it, and that's rough. So once this is all polished up, <laughs> You should be able to actually see through it. So that's kind of interesting, but I'm gonna get to work. Um, and I guess I'll check in with you guys after the live stream and see how much I was able to get done. So I'll check it back in with you guys. Look, I got the live stream going and I already had two people making comments, um, but that's what I see. Just so you guys know, that's what I see during the live stream. Um, <laughs> I see the screen. I see you guys chat and I can control what I'm doing but uh, that's boring so let me get to work and I'll catch up with you guys after we're done all right guys successful live stream I have to say the torcedo handle scales are in a good place and ready to be glued up uh, everything is <laughs> lining up better than expected actually and it looks really good so I'm happy with this so far so I just got to go glue these up get everything lined up perfectly uh, the pins are a little tight which is excellent actually uh, except for this one just keeps falling through but 
Um, so Torcido is looking good. Got to get that one glued up. Uh, the Rock Copper. Dun, dun, dun. Yep, it's got that hand sanded and polished up nice. I got to get some of this glue out of the hole um, and get that one cleaned up. And the bud with the curly refeer, look at that. You can see the mesh through there. You see the lines on the spine. Uh, this side, you can't, I don't know, if the camera's just not gonna ever pick this up, but you can actually, the scales are translucent and you can see everything in there, which is kind of a nice little extra touch on this one, but uh, it looks really, really good. Um, so I'm happy with that. They are looking really good um, and ready to move on. So uh, let's do a little unveiling. Uh, the rock hopper will be easy. I already know. Ta-da. Man, look at that. Wow. Yeah, that looks cool. So rock hopper is looking really, really good. So I hope you guys like the direction that. Got to get some pictures to the owner of that one. And this one's going to take a little bit more for me to get off. But let's see. I shouldn't. Ow. <laughs> it's stuck on the sharpening joint. Oh, no. There it goes. Yeah. And the bud. Look at that. Woo. Man, that looks good. I don't know. I don't know, guys. <laughs> that thing is good. I do have to now etch the spine and the handle again in all this area so I can match up with this. But man, that is looking good. <clears throat> I'm really happy with the way that these guys are turning out so far. I better get some pictures over and, uh, We'll see how they like it. Hopefully they are as happy as I am with them. But I guess we'll see. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you like the direction. Next one, we'll be finishing these guys up, getting the Torcido into the place where these guys are, and getting the sheaths set up for these two. Um, but still some work to do. We're still a long ways away. And I got to put an edge on these guys, which that shouldn't take too long but it is another step in the process so hopefully you guys like this and uh, are happy with the way things are going so uh please subscribe like leave a comment or not the choice is always yours